Thomas Williams. He is a former NFL player for USC. Thomas, how does an individual develop self-confidence? Also, if an individual doesn't have the support from family and friends of their, of their goals, how do they navigate through that? How would you say you navigate? That was a good question. Um, how are you guys doing? I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like I'm like got my back to them guys. I'm over here. So you guys see me? Everybody I'm good? Uh, like she just said, I went to USC, played there from 2003 to 2007, won two national championships. 2008, I was drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars, played for the New England Patriots, Carolina Panthers, and the Buffalo Bills. So to your question, the I think confidence is like anything else it's evidence that it's going to happen. So how many of us have cell phones? Raise your hand, we got cell phones. How many of us today either sent a text or posted something on social media? Raise your hand. What gives you the confidence that when you press send, it's gonna end up where you sent it? Because you did it yesterday or you did it the day before, you did it the day before, same thing with cars, same thing with elevators, anything. So for me personally, the only reason I've ever had confidence is because of the positive examples and evidence, things that have occurred. So for me, just like Joe talked about your GPA, my GPA in eighth grade was 2.3. My first grade point average, my ninth grade year was 3.5. And so how did I have the confidence or how did that come about? And it was because of structure. So for me, confidence comes from my routine, day in and day out. The reason why I'm able to talk to somebody face to face